So everyone, welcome to today's video. Two weeks, uh, still trying to settle in a different city. I am in Bangalore right now and I am sitting in my hotel room currently recording this video. It's been a couple of weeks. I have joined Titan Company Limited finally and I am still trying to blend into the company. Two fantastic weeks of induction and then I will be on my job from this Monday and uh, still trying to getting accustomed with the city. I'm still looking for flats, but to cut it short, Today I'm going to share my experience with Haldia Petrochemicals uh, some uh, five years back in 2018, 17-18, uh, 17, 17 winters uh, extending to uh, 2018 that is December 2017 to January 2018. I was with Haldia Petrochemicals for a one month winter internship there. I saw the culture, I saw the pill, I saw the place and today I'm going to share my short experience there but very very brilliant and beautiful experience. I'm going to talk about the place, I'm, talk I'm going to talk about the work culture, the uh, specific uh, requirements of the work, the people out there, how do they function, what is the regular day-to-day -day life of an engineer that goes into that. So first let me tell you that uh, you know it, it is a very good place for all the chemical engineers out there because Haldia Petrochemicals is a petrochemical manufacturing unit so you are going to learn a lot so they manufacture a lot of polyethylenes as well. I was uh, particularly working with high density polyethylene that you particularly see in maybe some chairs so you see that polyethylene that is uh, required to make the chairs and everything the plastic chairs which actually sink in water that is high density polyethylene i have a detailed uh, procedure of how polyethylene is made and what is the difference between bulk polymerization and solution polymerization you can refer to those videos separately but talking about the life it is a mecca for the chemical engineers out there who are looking out to go into the refineries industry into the petrochemicals industry the switching opportunities from here are extraordinary brilliant you can switch to Reliance Industries Limited which is also a petrochemical company Reliance Petrochemicals other than that you can also switch to companies like IOCL ONGC with a vivid experience in Haldi Petrochemicals I have seen people do that as well apart from this you can also switch to ExxonMobil uh, Halda Topso like companies which deals with catalyst specialty chemicals and uh, oil and gas in particular uh, Can India is also one of those companies apart from this uh, what you can also do is going go into a design consultancy from the petrochemicals so i have seen people move to honeywell uop i've seen move, people move to worley i have seen people move to mn dastur from uh, hindustan uh, from uh, hade petrochemicals uh, so it's a mecca for the chemical engineers to start their career with but maybe to not to stay long with the company uh, because then it kinds of gets toxic as well uh, and also gets monotonous after a point of time uh, what i have experienced in my one month is uh, first of all i will talk about the place so as I told you place the culture the people uh, so talking about the place it is a remote area as it is expected to be uh, it is a manufacturing unit so it's going to be remote but having said that it is not as remote as to the other places that I have been to I have been to Hindustan Zinc Limited for the manufacturing unit as well it's extremely remote it's the remotest corner of uh, Rajasthan and not many people stay there but unlike that many people actually do stay in Haldia Petrochemicals when I was there um, uh, I was staying at a friend's uh, residence just besides uh, his house I took uh, a, sh a small PG for rent for one month the rents are extremely uh, affordable I think I paid some 8,000 or 10,000 bucks if I remember correctly and the food would come from his house mostly and uh, sometimes we would be having food outside there is a small mall as well there are a lot of food dhabas so if you are thinking it's a remote place where you are not going to have those facilities you are uh, completely mistaken there are facilities there they have created a mini township mini society kind of a thing uh, within Haldia Petrochemicals itself um, in, uh, around in and around Haldia itself because there are a lot of things apart from Haldia Petrochemicals in Haldia as well uh, that is the Haldia Institute of Technology which is a very famous institute of technology many people pass out from there apart from that there are a lot of polytechnic colleges as well apart from that uh, uh, IOCL Haldia is also one of the famous refineries of IOCL that is located in the Hal uh, Haldia region so Haldia hosts a lot of industry areas as well as a lot of residential and commercial areas because of which it is a fit for I would not say an urban life but a semi-urban life it is not going to be a rural life if you are, uh, if you are expecting every day you would go partying you are in a kind of a person who loves partying with friends party animal you're going to go to bar you're going to spend your money there probably that's not something that will happen but definitely a semi-urban kind of a setup you will be getting at Haldia Petrochemicals talking about the work culture the work culture is hierarchical as is expected 
uh, as is expected most of the people are from the bengal belt uh, most of them are bengali so if you are a bengali it 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 can be a very comfort space for you it will be a very comfortable space if you would find a lot of comfort there and definitely you should uh, give it a try the salary there is somewhere uh, around 6.57 lakhs 66.57 lakhs the employees can confirm further but that is what we knew my internship stint was unpaid it was more of a training program where i was trying to study the process and i was work also working on a short project uh, in the distillation column section uh, but uh, having said that the people are extremely helpful though it is a hierarchical structure but they are helpful they are very cooperative they will listen to your stories they will talk to you they will try to understand your viewpoint and would also ask you a lot of questions which will intrigue your thought processes so being a process engineer it's also a good experience there but it is regular it is monotonous at the same point of time not a very urban setup uh, the plant itself is in a uh, obviously a kind of a setup where you would not get much of a life there um uh, as such but if you enjoy the work well and good uh, talking about the facilities to uh, tra tra travel on the campus mostly on foot that is one of the disadvantages of the campus some of the bus facilities are available but we used to travel mostly on food uh, foot for the food and everything and uh, but if you have friends you can always you know uh, talk with them and spend uh, your time on the campus some beautiful places to roam around as well there is a beautiful place where you get lumbu there is a thing called lumbu and you can have that and that's that's really beautiful beautiful so there is this uh, gate uh, where you can smoke if you are a smoker you can smoke there and have lumbu uh, tea a lot of facilities are there uh, subsiding campus as well just besides the campus uh, so uh, a lot of things outside the factory premises as well uh, their township is not within the factory premises it's uh, somewhere off bit in haldia only maybe some uh, 20 minutes from the place uh, but they have a township facility as well where they uh, you know uh, give the people who want under how the petrochemicals who work for well the petrochemicals they give themselves uh, them flats as well so that facility is also there the kind of work that you are expected to do regular engineering work mostly control panel handling and shift engineer work so going and checking around the machines across all the corners whether they're functioning properly and to make them perform 100% with 100% efficiency quality management cost reduction all of that will be a part of it talking about the canteen space the canteen was extremely uh, uh, beautiful the food was good the food was like any other mess or canteen as you would have seen in the campus itself uh, uh, so but by a, a, in within a walking distance from the hdp plant or the lldp or ldp plant so there are several small manufacturing units across the entire uh, uh, plant you would see one high density polyethylene manufacturing unit one low density polyethylene manufacturing unit one linear low density polyethylene manufacturing unit so all of these manufacturing units would be there and there would be storage spaces their raw materials apply and then there would be a small canteen where you can spend your time and the people and culture as i've already talked about mostly bengali people mostly were expected to sit around in the dcs and there will be some shift and field engineers as well who would be looking out and it is hierarchical best so basically um, uh, there will be someone who would be uh, guiding the lot under them uh, overall a good bit of structure a good bit of exposure great exit opportunities a semi urban setup if you are looking apart from the industry itself because of the presence of several other other industries including iocl and uh, colleges like uh, halde institute of technology as well so the that makes the place a semi urban setup as well you will get properties uh, on rent for quite a cheap rate if you want to stay outside the township as well you are most welcome to do so and you can do that quite well but again having said that monotonous job over a period of time uh, the growth is not that great the starting salary grows very slogged up in a very uh, slow sluggish pace so you are expected to switch uh, as and when required uh, but as i told it is a good company to start your career with and also a good company to stay and then probably switch to the next company good company to learn a lot of processes good company for internship trainings and uh, obviously if you are from ju you will always get a exposure of the halde petrochemical space there so you should always come you should visit you you should stay for a month or two and try to learn the processes because it will always be good for you and you will learn a lot throughout the process so that was it from my end today that was my short and small experience about the people the work culture the food the stay the place of halde 
Petrochemicals Limited. And uh, the experience in a short period of time was superb. The people were superb. The place was good. Uh, definitely would recommend you to go there once and see the processes by yourself at least once. And uh, if you like it, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for regular updates. We will keep on bringing more videos like this on life experiences, on technical and management topics. That was it from my side today. Thank you very much.